Hi guys, this is just a quick video update to show you the two white uh, mini phalaenopsis that I have purchased from Trader Joe's. They actually came in the same pot, so I kind of refer them as the twin twin fells. Um, so one of them actually had ex pretty extensive root problem, which is the one on the left here which I then put, decided that, you know, I should probably give it full, put it in full water culture. And then this one actually um, had pretty okay roots, although after I put it into um, pure grow stone plus clay pot, it actually had one root rot, which then lead to, you see the, the loss of one leaf right here. So based on my experience, you see how that leaf is actually not the bottom leaf. It's actually somewhere in between. Um, this is just my experience. If the leaf somehow turns yellow very quickly in between the top leaf or the bottom, you know, anywhere in between, as long as it's not the bottom leaf, which usually if the bottom leaf yellows, sometimes that's just because it is... You know it's getting old right and it it naturally needs to go away um, but if it's anywhere in between sometimes well, actually most of the time it, there is some root problem um, yes it's also possible that it's a stem rot but usually with the stem rot you would actually be you could you would actually be able to tell that it's actually rotting the stem um, but if it's just one leaf that's turning yellow really quickly in just a few days, in a couple of days, like two days, usually that is a root rot. And sure enough, after I put this into um, grow stone, which I thought would retain a moisture, and because of the clay pot, you know, being really porous, there, there, there shouldn't be any possibility of rotting because you know grow stone is also providing lots of air in between so that actually led me to another dis you know thinking and I would like to have this discussion with all of you too you know maybe that's why I said in my other video um, that maybe grow stone is not the same well they're not the same thing as ceramics and maybe grow stone cannot be used as ceramics um because i also follow miss orchid girls videos and she's been great right and now she's using in organic media and according to her setup right her orchids are doing really well in pure um ceramics plus some hydro balls and in clay pots but this particular setup for this particular fowl um you know, two or three weeks after I put them into this grow stone, right? And then I also, I only water it probably once a week and it still had root rot problem. You know, it was not extensive. That might have been because I caught it pretty quickly because I realized that, hey, it's losing a leaf in between right here. So I decided to unpot it and sure enough, there was a root rot. Okay, so that's my opinion about grow stone. I think it will be good to use it as perlite. So if you make your own mix, you know, maybe bark plus perlite, you know, if you make your own mix and you can actually replace perlite with grow stone because grow stone does not um, decompose, right? It won't, so, but then, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose because your bark media actually would would you know break down but this doesn't so it's kind of up to you for me personally because i still use you know spectrum moss in combination of rot, lava rocks i have a lot of good success with lava rocks and spectrum moss and usually the ratio is 60 percent lava rocks and 40 percent um spectrum moss um, whether you want to chop it up a little bit or just use long strength sphagnum moss, either way, um, I felt have a, a lot of success with that. But anyway, so that's my opinion about growth stone. I think it can be used as substitute for perlite, but it shouldn't be. It, 
I don't know, maybe I need to do more experiment because with this setup, it still gave me a root rot problem. You know, and be this being a clay pot, which provides lots of, lots of, you know, um, ventilation and then being, you know, and this growth stone supposedly is going to add a lot of aeration. Um, so I'm thinking growth stone because it's, it's very porous. It's got lots of little tiny holes, if you can see. Right. Maybe it's not focusing. Oh, there. Right, it's it's kind of like lava rock, except that this is really water retentive. So I'm thinking this is probably almost like a almost like a sponge. It just retains so much water, um, even though yes, there are air there there's air there are there are spaces in between and the roots can get in between. But because that they're kind of like sponge that sucks that soaks up a lot of water, that it actually is too much water. So I will actually be very careful with grow stone and plastic cups if you don't have enough ventilation holes on the sides. And the fact that I'm already using clay pot, I thought I was totally safe, but no, I was wrong. Anyway, so back to the twins, the comparison. So you, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you from above. So the one on the right you know, in full water culture actually is trying to give me a new leaf. Whereas this one, you can kind of see if it'll focus for, for us. In the middle there, you can kind of see that there is a little bit of leaf coming out. But, you know, it's not growing as fast as full water culture. And this one actually, if you, if I pull it up just a little bit, you see? It has absolutely no roots left. So I'm actually really just praying for this one. I know it'll survive and it's going to take some, a lot of patience to wait for the roots to come out, right? Um, but I was actually very surprised to see that, you know, this one is, you know, with no roots is growing a leaf. And this one with pretty decent roots other than that one that got rotted away. It, the, the root system is actually pretty okay. Inside is not producing new growth as fast as fast. Maybe this one is still trying to get adjusted because of the, the loss of this particular leaf That's that, that is a result of the root rot. I don't know. But anyway, this is just a quick video update to show you my twin fowls who aren't really twins, no one, you know, nobody is anybody's cakey or mother. They're just really two individual plants that came in the same pot, which I assumed would receive almost the same care, same fertilizer, same environment, all the way from grower to Trader Joe's, from Trader Joe's to my environment. So I thought, you know, I want to do an experiment, one in full water culture and one in, um, in a potted um, manner, um, but it just so happened that I actually received growth stone in the mail, so I thought I would use this as an experiment with with, with growth stone again, uh, not again, uh, use it with growth stone just to experiment and see how this actually works. If I want to, um, you know, put an orchid in a pure growth stone media. So far, I don't know if that's actually this is the best method. But, you know, I would love to hear your opinion or experience if you're also using growth stone um, as the pure media for your orchid. Um, so anyway, until next time, take care of yourself. Happy growing orchids. And um, if you have any comments, feel free to leave your comments below and we'll get the discussion going. Thank you very much.